got to be eight feet. He's getting a big shot of the, the venue with everybody in it. It's pretty sick. There's a lot of people. There were a lot of people in the venue today. We only had 36 entrants, but there was easily 50, 60 people in the venue. And I don't think that they are bar patrons. I'm not sure. Then you're going to stand up on the stool again, being a giant. Oh, my God. He's so tall. Look at this man. So they're playing crazy neutral right now in this hand warmer. <laughs> now, Curve, even in this period, is probably still hella negative versus Army. Because they play, like, three times a week, dude. If he gets three wins total, that's, like, one week out of how many? How long is the period? Probably 20-week period. So now multiply 20 times three, that's 60. To be generous, say he's 20 and three. Because let's say, you know, Curve couldn't make it out to a tournament. We'll, we'll even say 15 and three. That's still hella negative. It's a horrible winning percentage. It's like what? 20%? It's not good. I don't have the stats. I'm just pure speculation. But it seems to me that the record for Curve is not very positive on Army. Regardless of the fact that he did win three sets, that is a milestone. That is a non-zero number of sets. Okay. Woo. Oh, baby, let's go. Sure, you can zim. Throwing him out of here. All right. Woo. It's gone. No. All right, it's back. Yeah, I mean. Ugh. Luigi Falcon is whack a little bit. Um, who wins this matchup, chat? I don't want to say somebody wins if that's not right. Who wins this matchup? Because I know that it, uh, both of them have stuff that they can do on the other. But I'm pretty sure that you can, like, down throw knee Luigi at, like, almost 80%. It's rough, dude. You'd think that, right? But, like... Falcon's combos are, are good on Luigi, but he can just nair. Kinda, you know what I mean? He can just nair out a lot of stuff. That's the problem. And that's that's been the Luigi problem forever. It's not like his ground mobility is good, but he can just mash A. See, like right there. It's just like, okay, he just gets out of the hit stun. He would have nared Falcon if he'd gone for it. It's crazy. Yep. There's a reverse fair. I mean, Jace is hella good, though. And he might know this matchup, but Kerbin's also good. I don't know, man. It's a super weird matchup. Kerbin Griff used to play this all the time in SCB, like back in the day. But that was when Kerbin was bad, so I'm not sure. 8-4 and four army? Yeah. That's like, what? We'll, we'll say, what, 33 per, 33 win percent win percentage for Curve? That's still not great. What? What? Four plus eight adds up to 12, and four out of 12 is 33%. What's, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? But... Ben, ben, the streamer, tried to correct me, trying to say that 8 and 4 is a 25% win record. Oh my god. Like, I didn't just spend the entire semester teaching uh, fourth graders math, dude. Jesus Christ. All right. Here we go. Hmm. Dude, curve moving right now, man. Oh, he read the jump. He read the jump. Oh, man, he tried for the air. Whatever, Curve. That's why he's a Luigi main. Look at that guy. Good lord. Oh, there's the forward air. He's dead. Should be, at least. But Jason get this edge guard. He's, he's coming back. Luigi's impossible to edge guard, dude. This is amazing. Jesus Christ. Look at this man. He's going full on crazy. 
There it is. <gasps> oh? What happens when you put a light in the middle of a van, you fall drunk, people. Oh! Get hugged. But Jace is taking a lot of percent this stock. This is not good for him here. Curve with center stage. Oh, Jace has it back. He's winning in neutral. But, ugh, Curve's so high percent, but he can't quite get that kill. Jace getting the up air. That's finally going to do it. Kill him off the top. But Jace is at 107% for this last stock. Curve has a very good chance of taking this right here. Gets the up throw. What's he got? Reverse forward air. Can you get the edge guard? Nope. Yep, never mind. He got it. With the down air through the platform. That was whack. I'll tell you that. Whack as fuck. But he took it. And now we're staring at the top of his head until he decides to look back up. It's never going to happen, dude. He's just going to be staring at the ground the whole time. All right. So where are they going, Ben? You know what? Put on this mic. Literally nobody else is here. Put it on. Talk. Talk to people. Tell them how you're bad at math. All right, Ben. So tell me about this matchup. What do you got? Um, why do you think they went to Dreamland? I don't know, actually. They I feel like that would give Christian a lot more survival. Yeah, but he has more room to... Falcon has more room to combo, basically. And more room to run around and outspace Luigi. I mean, I guess that's true, but like, in the nice. last match, he was kind of not really landing a lot of just straight up combos. He was getting out of a lot of his stuff, so I feel like it. But we'll see what happens. I believe. I feel like it makes sense if you think of the characters, but it doesn't make sense in the context of what happened in the last game. Yeah. I mean, at this, again, at this point, Chase is really playing the, the, the character as opposed to the matchup, you know? You don't really play the players until you get, unless you either really know the person or you get to a really, really top level, you know? Because who's going to learn the Luigi matchup for Curve, right? If you learn the Luigi matchup, you're learning it for like, I don't know, fucking, who's a good Luigi player? I don't even know. Are there any good Luigi players? <laughs> like Ka Master or somebody, I don't know, back in the day? Ultra Luigi. Person that beat SDJ at Big House? I don't know, dude. That was... You think I watch Melee? Oh! That's a pretty famous set, dude. It's the one where he loses because of the invisible ceiling. Oh, a bait. Yeah. A bait. But again, I, I don't know if any like really top players have practiced Luigi for a bait. Yeah. But you like practice Falcon for... You practice like versus Wizzy. You don't practice for versus Falcon. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying... If you're at that level. So, I feel like that's what's kind of happening in this set. There's definitely playing the characters, playing the matchups. I agree, Zach. Luigi, Ices, uh, who else? Hard. <laughs> Sheik, all the top tiers, dude. No. Luigi is ass, so floaty mid tiers, man. I'm a floaty mid tier hater. Big time. It it never feels good to play against them either. Because like even if you're playing a character that has like a clear advantage, it, it just it feels bad. Except Samus, I love fighting Samus. I think that's a sick matchup, this box. I would say that depends on who you're playing against. Uh I disagree. I think Samus in general feels really satisfying to hit. And I think that it's it's a really it's a really cool matchup. I like it a lot. He should he's not dead because uh, it's impossible to edge guard Luigi. Fun fact: if you've ever edge guarded a character, it hasn't been Luigi. He's coming back. Look. Jesus Christ, dude. <gasps> Fourth throw. He's back. Don't worry. Yeah, Jace also picking the stage for the survivability aspect. Woo! He's dead. Oh. It's, that's crazy that Curve got that kill, though. 
That was so important for him to get, and he got it. It definitely so solidified him being able to just, like, yeah. approach a lot more instead of... Uh, or I guess, like, worry about just getting bombed over and dead. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I'm falling asleep because of this match. I'm kidding. No, this is pretty exciting. Um... I'm falling asleep because I've been staying up until fucking 5 in the morning for the last week. Oh no school God. is whack. <clears throat> oh, forward air. Oh, that would have been so sick if that hit. People are laughing. I don't know what they're laughing at. This could be something that happens here. No, it's over there. Okay, thank God. You know, I, I, I'd want to play some friendlies, but it doesn't look like there's any setups up for me. Alright, Chase, definitely on his last legs here. He's got to take the stock, or he's done. Because this is his bracket. Yeah, if he doesn't take it, like, within the next like, 10 or so seconds, I don't think he's going to uh, have any chance of winning this match. You never know, dude. Maybe it happen. Well, there's only, like, three and a half minutes left. If it really comes down to it, Curve could just stall him out. He could. And he would, because Curve's an asshole. <laughs> I hate that guy. Oh, Nair. <laughs> nice fireball. Ooh, there's the back air. Let's see if he gets the edge guard. But as we know, he won't because it's literally impossible to edge guard Luigi. That was kind of laggy. I apologize about oh that. That's on our end. Uh, that's going to be the set. Yeah, watching all those attempted edge guards makes me like frustrated for days. Holy shit. All right, switch the camera to me. I'm going to sign off real quick and then uh, we'll get out of here. I will see you guys at the end of the stream. I'm going to get off and go play some friendlies.